Now that we created the phones table, the next table to create is the student table. Okay, so it creates table in design view. Two fields. First one is going to be called student name. Again, we don't need that many characters, so we can just cope with 20. And phone, but this is a phone reference. Okay, and that must be a number type field. There's a number there. Okay, no indexes here, no unique no unique fields, so we'll call this table student. Okay, we don't need to do a primary key, so we say no. Let me show you the easiest way of an easy way I found of populating that. The student. Okay, over here on the right hand side is our list of phones. Okay, so Andrew has phone number one. So I just arrange this so we can see what's going on a bit better. We don't need to have that. Okay. So Andrew has phone number one. So copy Andrew, phone number one. Bernard has phone number two. Charlie has phone number one. I hope that some of you will have realised now a faster way of doing this. Delia has got phone number three. And Erica has got phone number four. And we go on building it up like this until we get all our data in.